Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome back to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And in this case, we're talking about serving our veterans, performance, and so much more. We're honored to have with us Brandon Davis, founder and CEO of the Davis Focus Project. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. You yourself have a cool story. Thank you for your service to our country. Give us a little bit of your backstory, especially tied to Blackhawks and serving in the Army. And then we'll talk about what led you to launch. So give us a little bit of your backstory. Yes, sir. So I, I grew up in a uh, military household. My father was a Black Hawk pilot. I joined the Army in 2005, uh, served, enlisted for six years as a truck driver, decided to go to flight school, and then uh, decided to assess for the 160th Special Ops Aviation Regiment, uh, which is where I, I, I retired. I, I did uh, just over 18 years, medically retired. And uh, yeah, you know, during my time in service, um, I, I I went through some some pretty rough uh, or a pretty rough patch for for about three years. I, I wasn't really sure I was going to live through the situation. And what I what I realized is that uh, for for people that are active duty, there are so many barriers uh, to to getting help, and the, the stigma is 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 one of the the worst barriers and it prevents i would say the majority of people from getting help that do not get help and for me the the barrier was uh primarily financial but also a little bit of um of the the stigma and what would my crew think of me what would my commander my subordinates um i was almost to the pinnacle of my career i was about to become a, a flight lead i was in flight lead training and um, so I, I wasn't really willing to take a whole lot of risks on the on the career side of it um, or my reputation. And then the financial burden was I, I was at risk of losing a third of my paycheck for it, I would have lost my my special ops bonus and my my flight pay um, if I said the wrong thing in a counseling session. And so I just, you know, when you when you look at whether you're going to be able to make your mortgage and put food on your table um, but maybe feel a little bit better or have a chance of feeling a little bit better. And then you look at, well, I won't have any of those issues. I won't add anything more to my plate, but um, I can probably figure it out on my own. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty uh, simple answer. I mean, I mean, most people just, they, they don't want to add more to their plate. They have enough going on. And um, so I, I, I spent a while uh, trying to figure out a direction to go. It took me, it took me a while. And uh, eventually I, um, learned learned about human performance and, and neuroscience. And I, I found this whole world that was filled with tools that are extremely powerful. Um, in a lot of cases, I think some of them can be more powerful than talk therapy, but it, it depends on the person. You know, everybody, uh, some people really flourish in, in talk therapy and that really helps them to strategize their, their way out. But um, that's kind of what, what led to me founding the Davis Focus Project, um, I spent, I, I spent the better part of the last four years really diving deep and, uh, learning as, as, as much as I could. And that's how I got myself out of that hole. And when, when I started to, uh, started to, to feel like the, the weight of the world was getting lifted off my shoulders, I, I thought to myself, there are so many people that have no clue that this, this, this kind of, these kinds of tools exist. They just, they don't know. They see people doing ice baths on Instagram and social media. Most people think it's for, um, you know, physical health, but nobody really know it, not, there's not a large population of people that understand the true benefits. I mean, a, uh, an ice bath, a, a five to six minute ice bath can increase dopamine by 250% for over eight hours, which is an effective shift in your baseline of dopamine. Dopamine is what, what drives you. It's, it's what makes you get out of bed. It's, it's why you achieve. It's why you try hard. It's why you don't quit. And that is, uh, that is what we need to replenish in an abundance, 
uh, to get out of a dark place. And so that's, that's, that's a, a, a really one of the, the, the core functions of the facility is most, most of our modalities really work to balance the endocrine system and, and boost dopamine. Yeah, I think, you know, on both sides, the perspective around what you're doing, and we'll dive in deeper, but obviously your backstory and firsthand experience with this. And when you talk about, you know, sadly, the number of suicides for those who have experienced and gone to war and the PTSD and all of those things. And my brother, you know, who served in, in a lot of wars, you look at what the active military veterans have gone through or going through the trauma and being able to help in a very real way and offer a broad array of opportunities to engage. And uh, and you kind of touched on a few, but you got a lot, which is really cool. And meeting people where they are, helping them through, but then performance enhancement that others can benefit from. And so I think there's a lot of cool nuances to what you're doing. So go ahead and start unpacking. Give us a little bit more background for the organization. Yeah. So one of the other ways that we are trying to deconstruct the stigma is we are opening a center for human performance. It's not a mental health clinic. It's not a wellness center. No one's in scrubs when you show up. Um, as a matter of fact, you, you don't have to have any psychological condition to come in. Uh, some other reasons to come in would be if you want to just perform at a higher level at work, uh, in your personal life, at sports, if you want to prepare for special ops selection, or say maybe you're just burnt out from a long rotation. You've been working really long hours and uh, you're just worn out. Like, Come to us. We're, we're going to help you. Uh, get back into a position where you can get back in the fight tomorrow. So we're we're here to uh, enable the individual, here to enable the the, the fighting force uh, in every way that we can. And so when someone walks in our doors, the first thing that we do is a is a full body analysis. So we'll put you on an in body, which tells us what your uh, what your body composition is. Then we'll we'll also do some blood work. And here we're looking for uh, different deficiencies that may cause, you know, everything from loss of energy all the way up to depression, right? So we're looking at uh, minerals and, and, and vitamin levels. And then we're also looking at some common biomarkers associated with depression. And so say if we do find one, say if you have a lot of heavy metals, which is associated with depression, we'll tell, we'll tell you, we'll tell you. And, um, We'll also give you the solution. So we can give you a supplement called NAC to help you uh, flush out those toxins. And we'll tell you that it's commonly associated with depression. If you want to talk about it more, we can talk about it. We have a whole list of uh, mental health protocols that we can go over, or we can stick on this human performance. And that gives them the option to determine which way they want to go. If they really want to focus on mental health, then we'll get some more information, whatever they're willing to share. And we'll we'll dive deep on on targeting uh, whatever they have going on, but if they just want to stick with human performance, then we're just going to stick with that because we know that it's going to help everything else that they have going on as well. So that that's what this this whole center is about is improving uh, human performance. So after after the the full body workup, another thing that we can do is a acute EEG, which is a it's a brain map, and that gives us a little bit more data about what's going on in the brain. So maybe if you have traumatic brain injury. Uh, PTSD, uh, insomnia, anxiety, there, there's a ADHD, there's a whole list of things that it's highly effective at, not only identifying, but but treating. And uh, so we can go that route. There's some training that we can do with that system on, on neurofeedback. And then, uh, and then we have a whole list of other modalities like deliberate cold exposure in the form of an ice bath. We'll have uh, traditional sauna and IR sauna therapy. We'll have contrast therapy, so you can go back and forth between the two, which I'm a huge fan of. I've been using that a lot lately. Um, we'll have sensory deprivation in the form of a, of a float tank with a specific protocol. And then we'll have vibroacoustic therapy. It's this mat that you lay on, uh, plays binaural beats. I mean, it feels like you're you're laying on heaven. It's, it's really good to, to get people relaxed before they go do some of these things that maybe make them nervous. Um, you know, if people are claustrophobic and they're getting in a float tank or... Um, or if they're, if they're nervous about getting in the ice bath, it helps us prep them for that. And then the other big category that we're focusing on is, is sleep. Um, so sleep is very often either the cause of the problems or it exacerbates it, exacerbates issues going on so much that, um, that, you know, it, it really degrades your, 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 your performance. And so 
we we will have um, at home sleep studies that we can do to determine if you have uh, airway obstruction or OSA. And if you do, what will what we can provide for you is a is a mouthpiece. And this mouthpiece rotates your jaw, the bottom of your jaw forward, uh, allowing for better better airflow. And um, I mean, this has taken people from needing eight to nine hours of sleep and performing at a, you know, medium level to only needing about six hours of sleep and performing at a, at a much higher level. Um, so it's, it's pretty, pretty substantial. We'll also have uh, different types of mindfulness um, curriculum and we'll, we'll be an education and a resource center. So I'll give you an example. If you, if you come in and I, and you know, you're in a really bad place, we do several of the modalities at the end. I'm going to ask you, Hey, what else, what else can I help you with? What else is going on in your, in your life that, uh, that we can do for you? Um, we, we can connect you with nonprofits that will get you on a hunting trip, a fishing trip, a mountain climb. Um, you know, there's there financial services. There's a whole plethora. I sit on the suicide prevention committee for the for the state, and right now we are currently cataloging all these resources and vetting them. So we'll we'll have access to that full list at our facility. And uh, you're a no fail mission when you come in our facility. When you come in, we are going to get you an answer guaranteed. When you look at the ability for the community to help and support your efforts, right now you're in the process of kind of raising the money to open the building. So there's that piece of it. Talk about how the community can help and get involved. Yes, absolutely. So if if you want to get involved, the, the first thing I would suggest is visit our website, the davisfocusproject.com. Read a little bit more about us. We have an absolutely powerful board. Dr. David Rudd was the prior president of the University of Memphis. He's our director of psychology. Our treasurer, uh, Peter Oleksiak, was the CFO and senior vice president of DTE Energy. I mean, we're 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 a serious company. We're 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 not open, uh, but we're moving in the right direction, and we have the right team. So, um, go visit our website. Follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, all as the Davis Focus Project. Um, you can donate on our website, but a lot of what we're looking for is uh is corporate sponsorships so there is a title sponsorship for our facility open and available as well as sponsorships for each individual room with the modalities and then opportunities to uh to sponsor for upcoming events as well when you look at the future the goals talk about kind of what you envision in terms of being able to serve X number of individuals. And, you know, we talk about the high performance and obviously the give back and the support for the active and veterans, like talk about some of the goals for the future. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, the, the, the first step is our, our, our first center is going to open in Clarksville right across from Fort Campbell. Now the, the military population is about 28,600 if, if um, I'm correct. And if, if you're getting the full blown treatment, we can, we can treat uh, about 480 if we're, if we're fully funded for, for everything. That's the blood work. That's the QEG neurofeedback. That's running every single modality. Now we can, we can treat, up to uh, 12,000 individuals with a variety of, of different modalities um, with the, the budget that we have set um, and the, the minimum fund. So we, we, we need another 360,000 to, to get to that point. But uh, so once we get this first facility open and we start gathering statistics and people start to understand that, hey, we only cost $1,086 per person that has PTSD to treat them from the beginning to the end versus the VA costing anywhere between $4,800 to $5,500. And then on the healthcare systems, both uh, TRICARE, VA, uh, what have you, it, it costs about ten to $11,000 per person that has PTSD. That's huge. We are one-tenth to one-eleventh of the cost of healthcare, and we're one-fifth of the cost of the VA. When you look at your experience and what you've gone through, and now you know being able to see how you can be a change maker in the lives of others, what makes you excited about being able to take kind of the light going through the darkness and being able to provide that light for others? Um, you know, there's there's no greater purpose uh, than to be able to serve others, and I, I'm just extremely grateful for the opportunity. A lot of people, you know, when I when I really tell the story, they say, "Oh my gosh, I don't know how you made it," and that that's that's so horrible. And and I t I tell them that it was the most amazing experience of my life. 
Um, it really showed me what, what I was made of and gave me an opportunity uh, to, to, to provide some, some education and resources to a lot of other people who didn't have the opportunity that I have. Um, and then, and then I had, so I'm just, um, I'm grateful. Well, you mentioned it before, but go ahead and mention again, where can we go to learn more, to get involved with the Davis focus project? Visit the Davis or follow us on social media as the Davis focus project. Well, Brandon Davis, founder and CEO, the Davis Focus Project, thank you again for serving our country and for all you are doing to serve others. So I'm excited for the future ahead. Thank you for coming on the show. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.